Chelsea. I'm Emily. And, and this, this is, is Good Times, Times Grooming. Grooming. Today we have Diesel here. Diesel is a standard poodle. He's actually my puppy's dad. Um, he already got shaved. I do a five all over. He's going to get clean face and clean feet. So today we're going to show you how I do that. But before that, speaking of puppy. Donnie is ready to make his debut. Oh. So his name is Adonis. We call him Donnie for short. This is his dad. He's around 10 weeks right now, I believe. And he's like bit this little sucker out. <laughs> he is adorable. He has some markings on like his cheeks that are brown, but mainly he's just black and white. So we love him. Yeah. He's a monster, <laughs> but he'll grow out of it, I'm hoping. <laughs> but yeah, that's Donnie. He'll be in a video soon. All right, let's get started. Okay. I'm starting with the 40. I have nail polish on it. I know it's probably really bad for my blades, but I got nail polish on it this morning. So I'm gonna start with the 40 and just do the pads. When you're doing clean feet, you really want to make sure that you get all the hair that you can out of there because you want it to look clean. You don't want it to be clean on top and dirty on the bottom. Is it true? I noticed at Petco's and PetSmart, they don't allow them, from what I've been told, they don't allow them to get all of it out. They only have to do, they can only do the top. Yeah, you're trained to skim and not scoop. At least when you're starting off. I mean, my boss, once I got more advanced, she was like, okay, start getting all that shit out. Yeah. But at first, she, I just used a 15 or a 10. <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which is crazy to me because you're leaving off the mats. Because I had to call me in one time. They told me no. Yeah, I mean, if it's mad at I would always get it all out. Um, I also take my 40 and I go up right here because I'm going to end up shaving this anyway. So I like it to be super clean right on top of that. And then I take my 40 and I kind of edge where the nails are to make it easier because I'm going to do the top with a 10. Okay, I'm going to go with the 10. And you know what's interesting is that when I first started grooming, she taught me to do, which I think most people do, to do the top of the feet with a 40. And then when I moved here, she switched it up. She's like, yeah, don't use a 40 because you're going too close. Use a 10. Yeah, I did. I used to do clean feet with a 30 for the longest, but I always was nervous because if the dog's not used to it, it can irritate them. Exactly. So I started doing just the 40 to edge and then the 10 on top. Mm -hmm. And it's a pet. Like in show dogs, yes, I think it's okay to go they want, shorter. I think they wanted that shorter. Yeah, yeah, but it's a it's a pet, so I'm not. This it's not going to be super short, super clean like a show poodle, but it still looks nice. Um, so what I do is I'm going to get all of these sides first from this angle, and then I'm going to flip. I don't know why I'm showing y'all on this foot. This is the worst foot for me because it's so hard for me to flip and come this way. But I'm going to come in and get this side on every toe, and I'm using my fingers to separate it. And I'm not digging too far in there because there is a web and I don't want to catch it. So I'm just getting what's on top. This side. And then for the top where the foot stops here, where it splits, I'm going to go a little bit above that and that's where I'm going to set my line. Or if you want to come from the back, it's going to be around this way. <laughs> Donnie's being too loud. And I'm the kind of person that if the dog is too bad, they're gonna get what they get. <laughs> if they're fighting me too much, I'll get it as clean as I possibly can, but I'd rather do what I can than cut, cut their foot, because that makes me, I mean, sometimes they don't even react, but it makes me feel horrible. I need to take a struggle because I had him over here when he was going to be held. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's mad because I put him down. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thankfully, he is being good. I thought he was going to be bad, but I think it's the front feet that he doesn't like. Okay. Also, when you're doing plate feet, always make sure your blade is not hot. Because if it is hot, you're really um, sensitive area and it'll show if you burn them. And that's for the whole dog, but especially the feet. Yeah. I'm pretty sure on that. Yeah. Okay, that's what we got so far. Now I'm going to get my 30. I don't know why I do a 30 instead of a 40, but I do. Do you always talk to me? Huh? Do you always talk to me? Yes. Oh, okay. You go up. 
very slightly, yes. A little bit up? Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm going to take my 30 and get in the hairs that I missed a little bit more. I just like the way that the 30 cuts. It cuts easier, so I use it to kind of clean up, but I don't like doing a whole foot in it because then it's too short. And I'm going to make sure I go around the nails to get those hairs out of there. Don't want hairy toes. Oh, and then from the back, you want to make sure that you get, get the stuff that's on the sides. Like here, I missed, you can see where I missed this. So I'm going to come up and get all of this stuff. And I also want to apologize for the last video because I don't know if you noticed, but my arm was blocking the majority of the face. Yeah, I tried to work around it, but it was hard. But I think oh, like we got to do better. Some of the shots that we got were pretty good, so it's fine. Yeah, and I'll show you on the front one. Just go through it one more time. So again, I'm going with my 40. These are the ones that you might fight for, so it might be a little bit of a better show. I remember him fighting more. It's the turbo popping. Uh -huh. There we are. The camera's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not a fan. He's talking to the table. Table. <laughs> Distracting. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. I don't know why he looks like he hates his life. Alright, so I'm gonna come this way and I'm gonna get all these sides and then I'm gonna flip and go the other sides. You know what's funny? Mm. Is that we get a lot of compliments from, you know, our watchers mm -hmm. how informative we are, and I'm still trying to find it. But I guess every <laughs> every now and then we'll do an informative video. But it's nice to see that they're still learning something, even though we're talking yeah. you know, bullshit the whole time. <laughs> but we are trying to be a little bit more informative. Teach y'all something. Something. <laughs> another thing that I kind of started doing recently, which I got from another drummer, when they fight, instead of pulling. And fighting over it, I push in, and then they usually stop. It's weird. Because I never thought of doing that. Mm -hmm. But it works. Okay, I'm using my finger and kind of get some of these hairs up, and then I'm gonna run over the whole thing. Okay. The problem is most groomers want to fight with the dogs. Yeah. I don't have that much energy. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got to teach you to stop. Yeah. <laughs> but it's an interesting little trick. Like when you're pulling on it, you're like fighting, and they're like, nope. Donnie! Honey's trying to bust out, y'all. Then I'm gonna put to my 30. And, you know, I used to do clean feet. Everyone told me I was psycho for doing it, but I was taught to do it backwards and to come in from the back and get all the toes that way. And I did it for a while, but it never worked for me. And I'm glad that I found other videos on other people doing it because it was not the best technique at all. I think you just do what's more so what feels comfortable to you yeah. versus what's easier, you know? Yeah. And that one's done. Yeah, so I'm gonna do the other two and then we'll come back and we'll do his clean face. Okay, we're back. 
Um, hope you like that little montage of Donnie. So I have a 10 blade. I'm gonna start at the corners of the eyes and come reverse. So I'm gonna start at the corners, come down, make sure the skin is tight. Um, okay, so here I'm gonna take all this stuff in front of the ear out. I'm gonna make a line from the top of the ear to the corner of the eye. Pull his ear back to kind of stretch the skin a little bit. And I'm not digging into the skin, I'm letting the clipper do the work. But notice that she's stretching the ears back, yeah. which makes it one a lot safer, but you can see where you're going. Yeah. Especially on the black dog. It makes it easier to do so. Here, from the bottom of the ear, I'm going to come down, and this is where I'm going to start his V. Alright, now for the lip, pull the lip all the way back, and kind of curl it up so I can get all this hair that's out. I'm definitely going to stretch the lips here, because if you don't, it will cut it. You do it from the top, it's easier. Right there, and then come in. Oh. And it also protrudes the lip, so you guys can see inside of the mouth also. You're leaving all that hair in there. Yeah, and I used to miss a... this little pocket right here. Mm -hmm. And that's where all the bacteria and shit grows, so mm -hmm. make sure you get all that out. <laughs> so I'm gonna go reverse here. I'm gonna flip it up in a second. <laughs> so tightening his lips, he doesn't want me to shake him. So that's all gonna be reverse, and then, and then I'm gonna flip, and I'm gonna just do regular, and I'm gonna finish his V on this half. So from here, come down, watch the skin, and right to like in between his neck, I'm gonna move you right here. Stretch this. I'm gonna just go regular, and then reverse, get all that out. Here I can go back reverse. He is just always stretch the skin. I don't know why I have him so high up. <laughs> I was wondering. Let's see if I'll turn this way and let me get this side. This side is always difficult for me. Yeah, that was something you say you, you have an issue with, right? I well, in this it. case, you don't have to worry about making the. No, I don't have to make it look face. even. Yeah. It's just, I can't get the motion of. Stop hitting my tripod, Emily. I can't get the motion of working on the opposite side, like backwards. It's weird for me. Whether it's shears or clippers or whatever it is. Like, see, now instead of doing this, I can't do that. So I'm gonna go this way. I just can't do it. And then when I start to feel uncomfortable, I get nervous that I'm gonna cut him. Yeah, I get all nervous and then I'm like, Ugh, I'm gonna cut him. And then another 10 years from now, she's gonna laugh at this. Like, I feel like I'm more experienced than I am. Like, I, I forget sometimes that I'm, I don't, I shouldn't be expected to be perfect at all this stuff because I've been doing it for three years. Mm -hmm. Like, I still have a long fucking time to go. But in my head, I'm like, ugh. And you think too much. It needs to be perfect. I'm over here, I groom, and I think about food, <laughs> what I gotta do afterwards. Not me. Comes, I feel like it comes in other sense, kind of. If yeah. that makes sense. It's at that point. Yeah. Oh, hi, Donnie. Oh, <laughs> no, no, he's cussing us out over there. Mm -hmm. I know some people that do a 15 here. Just to make it cleaner. But, mm, it's fine. Now, it's one thing I do do show. differently is my line in between the eyes. Uh -huh. I don't keep it that low. Maybe I should start doing that. Because if you notice, when you keep it that low, when you keep it at the corner of the eyes, mm -hmm. it's still growing into the eyes. That's the first part that's going to grow. Honey, you're ruining the video, huh? You real So you take it like above the corner of the eyes? Yes. So you would take like that off? Yeah. Well, let's do it. Excuse Emily, she keeps smacking the tripod. So if it's a little jiggly, it's because of her. Is that or more? No, you're good. 
All right, well, I'm gonna do a sad mat and ears off camera because if I do that on camera, I'm gonna be here for probably an hour. So I'll leave Chelsea to do a top knot video. So we'll be back for the outro when he's all done. All right, y'all. This is Diesel. So diesel. 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 Vin, Vin diesel. diesel. No, it's Vin Diesel. Anyways. <laughs> y'all let us know what it is. We did his faith and his feet today. I hope that y'all learned something. So thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, uh, share. And you can follow us on our other social media, Facebook and Instagram at Good Time Screaming. We will see you next week in another video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.